The next era of HTTP is upon us, and really, how hard is it to be a web developer? I'm Rob Dotson, this is Lazy Web. HTTP is getting a refresh. Akamai gives a high-level overview of the power of HTTP2 and features like multiplexing, header compression, and server push. The video cites anecdotal evidence that switching to HTTP2 can make sites 5-15% faster without any additional tuning. Support for HTTP2 and its predecessor Speedy is widespread, meaning it might be time for you to start experimenting with it. What do you need to know to be a web developer? Well, everything. Kathy Sierra covers the meta skills required to come up to speed on new technologies and stay there, splitting tasks into categories of those that require significant effort and those which are already mastered allows us to prioritize the things we work on and how we work on them. Stay on top of changes in Safari with the new WebKit status page. Located on webkit.org, the page lets you search for features and track implementation progress. Combined with chromestatus.com and status.modern.ie, the new site is one more tool to help developers build great cross-browser experiences. Finding consensus on Shadow DOM. This past week, engineers from the major browser makers got together to hash out the contentious bits of the Shadow DOM spec. Positive tweets indicate significant progress was made, and this summary doc shows the resolutions. You can also view a transcript of the event on the W3C website. How does, like, JavaScript Have you ever wondered how your code actually works? Philip Roberts takes us on a beginner-friendly journey into browser internals to explore how the code you write gets handled by the call stack, task queue, and event loop. You'll learn how not to block the renderer and get a first-hand look at flowing the call stack. Elevator.js fixes those awkward scroll-to-top moments the old-fashioned way. You've just got to make it to the bottom of the demo page, so keep scrolling. Keep scrolling. All right, here we go. That's it for this week, folks. Take a deep breath, enjoy the visuals, and to all you lazy webbers out there, thanks for watching.